We are back with more of Broken Sword. As I turned the corner, I saw the source of the hellish noise which echoed through the corridors. It was an industrial polishing machine with an odd-looking guy in tow. Uh. Hello. What's that? I said, hello. Oh, hi. I'd like to talk to you for a minute. That's what I thought you said. Don't look so down in the mouth. No matter how bad things seem, I never let life get on top of me. Oh, yeah? What's your secret? Why, it's easy. All you have to do is smile and whistle this little tune. You know what? If you start whistling, I'll bust you in the teeth. Wow. That... It's a deal. Seems a little harsh. Have you seen any unsavory characters lurking about in the quarters? No, sir, I haven't. But I've got nothing to worry about. What's that, Mr. Shiny? You'd take good care of the rascals, I'll bet you would. With a friend like him, I've no fear of oppressors. It must be a great comfort. He is. Would Mr. Shiny be your polishing machine by any chance? Please! Don't call him that. He's more of a friend than a machine. I've had Mr. Shiny for three years, and he's never let me down once. You're insane. How come you got so attached to a polishing machine? I asked you not to call him that. He's got a name, you know. Uh, yeah, Mr. Shiny. It's just that... You think it's odd, don't you? I don't mind. The rest of the staff think I'm twisted. I heard them snorking behind me back when I gave Mr. Shiny his weekly pull through. Do you know where I'd find a patient called Marquet? No, I'm not allowed on the wards with Mr. Shiny. All right. See you later. Yeah, take care now. I mean, if I wanted to get into that room. The connector in the socket supplied electricity to the polishing machine. Hey now, you can't go in there. How come? I'm responsible for the contents of that cupboard. And yep, that's kind of what I figured. As I tugged the plug out of the socket, the polishing machine coughed, spluttered, and died. Mr. Shiny, what's wrong, pal? Easy enough. Actually, I want to first see if I can fuck with Mr. Shiny. You want to let me take over at this point? Perfect. And we're good. I actually didn't expect there to be a doctor's code in there, but... Oh, God. Good afternoon, Doctor. Oh, hi. Is this Ward J2? Yes, sir. The patient's are ready for your inspection, Doctor. Uh, thank you, Nurse. You'll need this, Doctor. She gave me a long, narrow metal box and a stunning smile. Thanks. Uh, could you take a look at the client in bed number three now? His name is Eric Sopmarsh. Do you have a patient named Marquet on this ward? Uh, oui, monsieur. He is in the private room at the end of the ward. He has been placed in strict isolation. Why is Marquet in quarantine? If you wish to know more, you'll have to speak to Herr Hagenmeier. All I know is that Marquet's room is strictly out of bounds. Do you know who paid for Marquet's room? No, of course I don't. Preferential treatment like that must cost an arm and a leg. That's not my concern, monsieur. Do you have any clowns on the ward? Why, yes, we do. A professional clown. I'll bet he lightens the place up. Hardly. 
Monsieur Boissy has been in a coma for the last three months. Oh, God. What's wrong with Boissy? He was involved in a very nasty accident. A silly stunt involving a unicycle. His current condition is due to post-traumatic shock. <laughs> it's unlikely he'll ever perform as a clown again. It's an ill wind that blows nobody any good. The hell is that? What is this device? It's for taking the patient's blood pressure, uh. doctor. Ah, uh, right. Do you want this, uh... Device for measuring blood pressure? Yeah, do you want it back? No, thank you. All right. Thank you, nurse. Au revoir, monsieur. What can you tell me? Hello, anybody home? Who are you? My name is Dr. Stobart, and I'm here to steer you down the rocky road to recovery. Dr. Monroe said there was no cure for what I've got. Your problem is you stayed in bed too long. Are you sure you're a qualified doctor? You better believe it. What's your impression of Nurse Grendel? She's a very efficient young woman. Efficient? You make her sound like a vacuum cleaner. I've no complaints. <laughs> well. The woman in reception described Nurse Grendel as a monster. Well, that's simply not true. She's quite strict, but that's her job, isn't it? You've got to have discipline in a place like this. What can you tell me about Marquet? He's the man in the private room, isn't he? That room was mine before I was tossed out like a common squatter. Do you know what's wrong with Marquet? They won't even say what's wrong with me. Tell me, Doctor, what's your opinion? Uh, it's too early to say. But I've been here for three months. I'm going to take your blood pressure. Why? I'm a doctor. It's my job. Did that get me anywhere? Seems fine to me. You're not doing it right. <laughs> Alright. I'll come back later. I should have actually probably talked more about the uh, photograph. I actually want to ask her about that. Pardon me, nurse. Do, we miss Do you recognize the man in this photograph? No, I don't. Okay. Thank you, nurse. Au revoir. Doctor! What? What is it? You haven't taken my blood pressure. I did, though. Seems fine to me. You're not doing it right. Of course I am. No, you're not. Dr. Monroe never did it like that. I can't take a satisfactory reading while you're excited like this. I'll come back later. That was odd that they interrupted me with that. Oh, Doctor. What now? You didn't... Ah. Oh. Jesus Christ. Okay, let's try again. You don't have the fat. I'll come back when you... Hi. I'll come back. Can I ask Grendel about this? Pardon me, nerd. Do we miss... <laughs> Thank you, nurse. Au revoir, All right. We're not quite out of exploration yet. Oh, we kind of are. Uh, I didn't expect a, that to take me here. No, what are you doing? Talk to him. Hi, my name's George Stobart. Yes, sir? 
Pleased to meet you, sir. Call me George, if you like. Are you sure? Yeah, that's my name. My name's Benoit, but everyone calls me Benny. Bunny? That's right. I used to have this cute habit when I was a kid. Uh, keep it to yourself, Benoit. Here, take this pressure gauge. Thank you, sir. Uh, what do you want me to do with it? Well, uh, keep it safe until I think of something. Why would I give that to him? Shake my hand, Benoit. I don't think that's a good idea, sir. How come? Dermatitis. Well, I don't have dermatitis. I do. Oh. Do you know the nurse on Ward J2? No, monsieur. This is my first day here. I can't wait to get my hands dirty. I was talking about treating my first patient, of course. I didn't mean I'd get my hands dirty with a nurse. Shut up, Benoit. <laughs> okay, sir. Do you know anything about a patient named Marquet? And no, sir, I don't know much about any of the patients. I've never met a doctor who admits that he's only human. Uh, I'm only a trainee, sir. I'm sure I'll get the hang of things. See you later. Right. Now that I don't have the blood pressure thing, are you going to let me go through? Can I just say that I gave it to another doctor? You haven't finished taking my blood pressure. Interesting. Will you keep quiet? You're disturbing the other patients. I'll keep quiet when you've taken my blood pressure properly. I have to see Jacques Marquet first. How come he gets preferential treatment? It's because he's got money, isn't it? Yes. I'll come back when you've dealt with that chip on your shoulder. He's fucking buzzed Hi, it's me again. Uh, no. <laughs> uh, that is not a good idea. Do you recognize this red nose? Doesn't that belong to Boissy? No. I found it in a sewer. He's a clown, you know. You wouldn't think so to look at him now, would you? Do you recognize the man in this photograph? No, Doctor. Uh, who is it? A cold-blooded killer. Um... Does this gem... No. Have you heard of a guy called Merlin? No, Doctor. Have you ever heard of the cl I'm not real. I'll come back. Well, now what? Now I kind of am getting a little more stuck. Pardon me, nurse. Oui, monsieur. Would you like to shake hands with me? Well... No, it's okay. Forget it. <laughs> Thank you, nurse. Au revoir. I thought there was a lot more to explore. Excuse me, sir. Aha! Just the man. You must be the new boy. Uh, yeah, I must be. Well, uh, stop wandering about and make yourself useful. Bernie, uh, come here, boy. This is Benoit, my nephew. Can I trust you to look after him? He is fresh out of medical school. It will open his eyes to see a real doctor on the job. Aha! Uh -huh. I'll bet. Show him around. Let him see some real suffering. Is he gonna come with me? No, what the fuck, kid? Do I really have to talk to you and... Well, where the hell did he go? Oh. What are you... Hey, Benoit. Yes, sir? Do you still have that gauge I gave you? Ah, oh, yes. What do you want me to do with it? Keep it safe until I... think of something. I can't even offer him to shake my hand. Have you ever heard... No, sir. Do you recognize... No, monsieur. I've never seen him. Damn, I'm not gonna get anywhere. Does this fall? Uh, no, it. You mean you mean you? Does this gem? Not me. Follow me, Benoit. I'm right behind. Maybe it just takes some time for him to. 
There, okay. You haven't finished taking my blood pressure. Will you keep quiet? Okay. I have. Oh, okay. it's. Um. Hey, Benoit. Yes, sir. Can you take his blood pressure? You still have that game. I. Use it on Eric Sopmarsh. Okay. Okay. I have to do it. Oh, I didn't realize that was me interacting time. Hello. I'm Dr. Stobart. Bonjour, Doctor. Have you seen any suspicious characters on the ward? Yeah, I have. A gorilla and a weasel? No, this was a tatty old bear. How is the bear acting suspiciously? Well, he was wearing a homburg. Is that against the law? No, but it's pretty weird for a bear. The fuck are you talking about, dude? Have you heard of a guy called Marquet? He's in quarantine, Doc. Right behind this ear door. Marquet is just the man I wanted to see. I wouldn't go in there if I was you. He has anthrax. I have to visit my patient. What for? Routine. I have to check he's still breathing. What if he's not? I'll sign the certificate and register his bed is vacant. That's a cold and distant attitude to death. Well, I've been institutionalized to the point of godlike aloofness. The white coat suits you. Thanks. <laughs> Catch you later, officer. Au revoir, Doc. Mark Oh my god! Marquet? Yes. I am Marquet. I've been expecting you. You have? Well, what are you waiting for? Get it over with. I just want to know what I should do with the gem. The Lachmar gem? Yeah, right here in my pocket. Oh, oh. I thought you were one of the... <laughs> Not me. I never inhaled. So, <laughs> you were sent in my place? Uh, yeah. You could hardly make the trip to Ireland in your condition. What should I do with the gem? Deliver it to the Grandmaster. Quickly tell him that I have found the tripod. <laughs> Right here, in Paris. You have it? Not yet. But it's being taken care of. I... I heard a couple of stooges with a flair for petty crime. Would that be Flap and Guido by any chance? You know them as for Klausner? He has gone off to Syria on a wild goose chase. They have geese in Syria? He, he uh, has a theory about the location of the... <sighs> That's enough excitement for one day, Monsieur Marquet. What are you doing here? Talking to this patient, of course. Monsieur Marquet is my patient. If Herr Hagenmeier was to hear that... Okay, I'm going. I'd learned all I could from Marquet anyhow. Ah, there you are, sir. I was just coming to look for you. I finished with your pressure gauge. Thanks, Bunny. What's that noise? It sounds as if someone's having a cardiac arrest. It's all right. The doctor's in there with him. Are you sure he was a doctor? Oui, monsieur. He showed me his ID. It was Dr. Brail. There's no Dr. Brail working here. He's an imposter! The door's locked. Help me, officer. Oh. 
Stand back, monsieur. I'm pretty sure Mythbusters disproved that. Wealth? That sucks. Hello, George. I found Jacques Marquet. Did he talk? Yeah, he talked. For the very last time. He's dead? Yeah. Killed in cold blood by a bogus doctor. That's despicable. What kind of guy would pass himself off as a doctor and take advantage of a dying man? <laughs> was it Khan? No. I don't know who he was, but it certainly wasn't Khan. He got away, out the window. Have you ever heard of the Hashi Ashin? No. Marquet said that they were his biggest enemy. His biggest enemy was the bogus doctor. Don't remind me. That guy was evil. He had wild, staring eyes like a dead fish. I'll never trust a doctor again. <laughs> Do you think the assassin was responsible for killing Marquet? I don't think so. He could have finished him off the first time. Besides, Marquet would have recognized him. He was pumped to the gills with sedatives. He wouldn't have recognized the four horsemen of the apocalypse unless they'd introduced themselves. All right. I guess I'd better go back and talk to that weirdo. Which one? Rosso or Sergeant Mou? Oh, but you're referring to Andre. I'll let you work it out. Um. All right. Oh, I can't save here. Let's, uh... Let's check out the museum first. And um, we're going to save here. So as always, folks, thank you very much for watching. Tune in the next. Thanks for watching, everybody.